All right, y'all. We on another one. I had to make a quick stop right here. I run off and left my dad gum spray bottle with my sugar water in there at the house. So we had to do a flyby right here and snag a cheap one real quick. Uh, anyway, we down here in decab today. Again, shout out to all my decab people. Uh, Mr. Mr. Michael Scherer. Head northwest on Northeast Front Street toward Northeast Center Street. I believe it was Mr. Michael. It might have been his wife got a hold of my wife. But anyway, they, they got a hold of me. And I got a hive and a house down here. Uh, we're going to we're gonna do this one. We're going to do this one from the inside. And the reason we're going to do that is it's an older... In 500 feet, turn left onto Northwest Ronald Street. I know, woman... Anyway, we're uh, this house is is an older. Turn house. left onto Northwest Runnels Street. Is, is is some of that siding that's that's real brittle, and breaks real easy. So uh, instead of instead of them having to you know redo all the siding, maybe put put some vinyl up or or something different. Uh, it'll be it'll be a whole lot cheaper and a whole lot easier just to throw up a throw up a piece of sheetrock you know sheetrock's cheap 12 15 bucks there there at, uh, in a quarter mile Minnesota. turn right onto west browning street but anyway let me get up here and i'll bring y'all back show you where they're at all right y'all we down here in decab show y'all what we got right here this is gonna be a big one i think uh, y'all can see right here they're going in and out where the where the edge of that framing around that window has rotted out over the years this is a real old house and it was moved here a long time ago all right and I got another opening right here that they're not that's not their main entrance but we can see the bees in there so these bees are gonna be in the wall probably from here to here all right Oh, let's go inside here and show you what we're gonna do. We just we just getting everything set up in here. Alright, so this is what we got. These bees are gonna be right here in this wall. Okay, they're going in right here. And they're gonna be right here between these studs. Probably a good six, eight footer right here. We'll be back in a minute. All right, y'all, we got everything set up in here. Got all our tools, got our tarp laid down. We're finna get them exposed and we'll show you what they look like. All right, y'all, we got them exposed here. Didn't make too much of a mess. And we have got a big old hive. A big one. And it is loaded with honey. Ooh, a lot of baby bees. All right, y'all see this right here? You get out of the light. These are, let me get right here. All right, right here, you can see the difference. These are both baby bees, okay? Let me get my camera to focus here. All right, and these bigger ones, as you see right in here, these are males. And these smaller ones, these are females. They're, bu they're both baby bees, but these are drone, this is drone brood, and this is cat, cat brood, cat baby bees. Worker bees and drones. All right, there you can kind of see, you can kind of see that one right there. We kind of ripped him out when we pulled the, the wall off right there a little bit. We got a lot of bees though. Lots and lots of bees and lots. All this is capped honey. Every bit of that is capped honey. All right, so pretty much half the whole hive is honey right here. And it goes all the way down there further than what we got cut, but I don't think we're going to have to cut anymore. We're going to start getting it out of here. And we'll take the honey out last. Take the baby bees out first. That way we don't get honey all over them. I'll bring y'all back in a minute.
All right, y'all, we're cutting, we're cutting comb out right here. Cutting baby bees out, put them in our box. That's what we're doing right now. Try not to make a mess with all the honey yet. One piece at a time. See that pollen right there? All that yellow pollen. Mm. Well, what we do here is we'll put this comb in here, we'll put these rubber bands around it, it'll hold it in place. We'll leave it in there for a little while till all the little baby bees that are inside of here hatch. And then we'll take this out and put foundation back in its place. That way our hive stays pretty and straight and clean and all like that. You try not to squish a bee, but every now and then it happens. Going with that piece. Right there. Right here. These bees are real nice. I probably don't even need my my jacket here, but we're gonna leave it on just because I got it on. Good piece right there. Mm hmm. You got one easy? Yeah. Uh oh, you didn't got popped. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that might be a little longer than you. The deeper we get into them, the more calm it'll be. Get up a little further right here, it turns all back into honey, so we're gonna try not to make too big of a mess here and get out what we need to get out and then worry about the honey after that. Imagine, because I've been in there honey. Probably. Yeah, they cook bands right Back of my neck, don't. It will for about five minutes or so. And you quit spinning. That's why I like them big wide frames there. Yeah. You just you put one piece in the frame, put two pieces, two, put two third band on it, and the whole frame filled up. A lot quicker and easier. But, do it like this, and here we go. 
all the things will happen when we decide. Might give me some tobacco. Put on it. See if it works. Oh, why I sell. I always heard that work, but I hadn't tried it yet. They got something funny going on in this cone right here. It's funny shape or something. Come out. Oh. I see it. I that sign up right there. Look at it off. <laughs>
a bad thing right here, so you're not going to watch out. Not really a bad thing, it's something that will work. Suction's off in the hose. Look at that one. That's a long one. Come all the way up. 